Right, Andy folks, we are back for the, hopefully, the final instalment of uh, the saga of the TW. So, obviously, if you've seen the last video, all the back end's done now. Got the bracket on there, all trumpet hazards on, everything's back together. We've just got to lob the all back in and then um, get the wheel fitted back on. Which is going to be interesting because obviously we've got the wedges in there, so we'll see how all that works when we put it back together. But it's a you know it's a big old heavy lump of a a wheel that is. So uh, anyway, we'll get the oil back in there and um, see how it goes. Look. So we're on the inside of the wheel, ready to fit actually. We've got, uh, we're lined up near enough with the um, stub axle there. And the way these um, these work, different to like your, yeah, your normal um, dish wheels like we just bolt on. This has got the, like I say, they're tapered and these wedges, they, as you do the bolts up, they slide in and tighten up. So if we look at this one here that I've got out, you'll, quite, you'll see the taper on it. Like that, so that tapers in um, on there because the wheel itself is tapered. The hole, the hole in there is tapered as well. So as it, as you do the bolts up, that um, pulls the wedges in and tightens it up on the axle. And you've got two flats on the axle, uh, and then underneath there's another flat. Again, it's not. You'll see very clearly. It's, they're not top and bottom. They're on a, like a two thirds. Sort of 11 o'clock and 7 o'clock. But that's all that does. And then that does allow you to then slide the wheel on and off. Or you know, in and out so you can alter your track width on it a lot. Um, as well as obviously you can do that on the rakes there as well. Like So you undo them bolts and that will slide in and out. So you've got a lot of you know um, possibilities with your track width. But um, that's how these work. If we come round to the other side, you'll see we've got um, we've got three three bolts there and five holes. Now two of these holes are pusher pusher holes. So um, when you wind the bolts in there, it should um, it should then push the wedges out. They can over time become yeah very very seized. And sometimes I've heard, well I've heard horror stories where. Um, the, you, know, you, you wind the pusher bolts in to release the wedges that don't happen you end up hitting them sledging them and doing all sorts of stuff to them and getting nowhere fast but luckily these just pop straight away although they've not been off well for as long as I've had it anyway so but uh, that's how they work that slides in and out like that and when that um, wind them bolts in to there that is then tight and that's all that holds it look quite amazing really so um, yeah so we've got a we're slightly out with the um, with the flats on this, so we've got to either try and rotate that. Not easy. Or we've got to rotate the wheel a bit to get it in line. So uh, we'll crack on with that. Right. So the shaft is just slightly out of alignment with the wedge. So, so we're going to fire it up and just see if we can just rotate that shaft a little bit so it matches the wedges on the wheel. See if she starts. <laughs> well, that was very successful. <laughs> Them. There you go, she's on. So 
So, like I was saying, as soon as, as you slide on, then wedges come, they slide back in the housing there, the housing on the wheel, and that locks them on. So you just keep tapping them forward, and that releases them. It's a clever system. I'm not entirely sure why, why, you know, why it was designed that way, but it does work. So what we've got to do now is we've got to measure the other side. Obviously get the track sort of set about the same as the other side. Obviously you want them the same. So we'll get it measured up. There's about, there's about an inch there sticking out in there. So that's what we want for, the, for this side. So we'll get it in the right spot. And then as soon as we do them bolts up, that'll just tighten them um, wedges up and she'll be there. Obviously I'll have to keep an eye on it. You know, the first few times I use it, just check it every sort of hour or whatever, just you know, make sure them bolts are tight. And do them to the correct torque as well, which we'll come to in a bit. But uh, yeah, it's looking more like a tractor going now, isn't it? Well, so I've just measured the, the amount of stub showing on the other side, and it's 39 mil, so that's what we're looking for this side. So. We've got to go on a smidge more, we're at 30 mil at the minute. Any good? Yeah, that's about, well, that's too far, but we'll try it. I'll, I don't know which one to do first. Should we just one do? Well, that hasn't moved. What's your measurement like? Oh, you, you, yeah, that's perfect. If that stays there, which I think it will, because well, it shouldn't move with your one wedge. With your yeah, my wedge in that up. shouldn't move. Like that's bang on. So that's again that moved about four mil then. Did it? Didn't look like it did, but oh, I was watching from here. Didn't yeah, it like it moved at all. So there you go. That's literally all that holds that on that axle now. Just that clamp. Oh, and there's a circle that goes on the end. <laughs> in the Darren. Little yeah. circle that goes on the end, just yeah. in case it's... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah that'll hold it on there, won't it, Lord? Yeah. Oh, it's just buzzing it up. Right, I'll have to check, um, check the book and just see what... Um, I think they're only about 300 foot-pounds. Was it Newton? I thought no, about 300 foot pounds. I think he's got to. So we'll check that and um, get them talked up. And she's about there. Right, so I'm just going through each alternate bolt now and just nipping them up. The actual final torque is 400 newton meters, about 290 foot pounds. See, whenever you just change one bolt it just it's nipping up a little bit more you just keep doing each one so that's got a bit looser just until they all stay tight there you go they're all tight now so uh do the same on the inside nip all them up in order and then it's a case of take it for a drive and then we talk them all so uh in case obviously that you know which you should do with any wheel you put on. Um, take it for a drive and then re torque them. So uh, that is what we will do. Well, just loose, I think, isn't it? Yeah. 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 again, talk them up again, and, um, and I'll 
I'll do this a couple of times. I'll go for another drive and just check it again, like, and just see if they come loose, like. Just keep an eye on them. They're pretty tight still there. I haven't got my torque, torque wrench with me, so I'm just gauging about 400 newton meters. Um, but uh, Darren will bring his torque wrench and he'll just double check these. But I don't think they've moved. Which is good. Now just time to check the inners. So there we go. How long has that taken? Six months? Eight months? <laughs> Something like that. Long old time, but uh, with Darren's help, Come on down, come and get a bit of, bit yeah. of recognition. Well, you've helped me a lot, a lot you know, getting this apart, haven't you? So it's been, um, I couldn't, couldn't have done it without you really, like, you know, you've done a lot of, you yeah, well. You'd have got there eventually. Eventually, yeah, but not as quickly, like, you know. Yeah. But um, we got there eventually, didn't we, like? It's yeah. just one of them buggers of a bolt, wasn't it, like? The wheel came off. The wheel came off a tree, so didn't it, like? Yeah. <laughs> we both thought it Yeah, was. you hear all the horror stories, didn't you, but, yeah. A little, we know how it works now, and it is yeah. a, it's a simple but seemingly an effective system, isn't it? So seems to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, she's all back together now, and uh, better luck. We'll be able to put her a bit of work. Get her, get her sister out. Um, that's what we're aiming to do. Get her thirty, get the thirty out, and um, see them both go out the field. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta. <laughs>